Now, let's discuss breastfeeding. So there are several benefits to breastfeeding, both maternal and fetal. And for that reason, we do encourage breastfeeding in most situations. There are some indications, such as moms that are infected with HIV and hepatitis C, where breastfeeding is contraindicated. However, in most situations, it is definitely encouraged. So let's go through some of those maternal benefits. Weight loss after pregnancy, decrease unintended pregnancy, as it can sometimes inhibit ovulation, decreased rates of hypertension and cardiovascular disease in the mom over her lifetime. There's also a decreased rate of breast and ovarian cancer over her lifetime. This is thought to be because during the time of breastfeeding, estrogen levels are lower, and without having ovulation, that's thought to be protective against ovarian cancer. And then there are lower rates of postpartum depression. And this is thought that because of breastfeeding, there's increased bonding between mom and the baby. So fetal benefits, decrease common childhood illnesses. So through the IgA antibodies, when baby breastfeeds, he's able to get some antibodies from mom to protect him from different illnesses. Decreased rates of obesity in babies that were breastfed. And again, there's increased bonding between mother and infant, so that not only helps mom decrease the risk of postpartum depression, but it also helps infants. And although this is not completely proven, we think that, that babies that are breastfed also cognitively perform better in school. So let's take a case. A 27-year-old para-1 female that delivered a healthy female by vaginal delivery two weeks earlier presents to your office with complaint of bilateral breast pain. She reports the baby has had difficulty latching, so she is mostly pumping to produce breast milk. She reports a low-grade fever. On physical exam, both breasts are firm and tender with no erythema. What diagnosis best describes this patient's condition? Mastitis, engorgement, galactosile, or breast abscess? Well, let's talk about some issues that we can have with breastfeeding and see if we can find the answer. So there are four common breast conditions that we see with breastfeeding, engorgement, mastitis, galactosil, and breast abscess. With engorgement, the breasts are full of milk and they're just not completely emptying. This can be bilateral. Patients can have a low-grade fever. It's common when there's a problem with the latch. And treatment is just to increase breastfeeding, warm compression, and massage. You're just trying to get those milk ducts to empty. Next is mastitis. Now this is actually an infectious process. Mastitis is usually unilateral. The breast is usually warm. There's erythematous streaking. The most common culprit is Staphylococcus aureus. And the treatment is antibiotics, dicloxacillin, as well as continued breastfeeding. The next is galactosil. So this is a cyst that can form in the breast because of a blocked milk duct. So with a galactosil, there's usually a palpable, tender, firm mass. There's no fever, because remember, it's not infectious, usually unilateral, and the treatment is the same as engorgement, increased breastfeeding, warm compresses, and massage. Again, you're just trying to get that milk duct to empty. And then finally, we can have breast abscess which is actually an infectious process. This is usually unilateral. There's a fluctuant mass. Patients can have fever malaise. And the treatment for this abscess is the same as any abscess. It's incision and drainage followed by antibiotics. So let's go back to our patient. Again, she's a 27-year-old pair one female that delivered a healthy female by vaginal delivery two weeks earlier. She's come into your office with complaint of breast pain. She reports the baby has had difficulty latching and she's mostly pumping to produce breast milk. She reports a low-grade fever. On physical exam, both breasts are firm and tender with no erythema. So, what do you think is going on with this patient? Is it A, mastitis, B, engorgement, C, galactosil, or is it D, a breast abscess? That's right, the answer is engorgement. Remember, with engorgement, it's bilateral, such as with our patient. They have low-grade fever. That'll take out the, the option of mastitis, as that's usually, usually unilateral. Galactosil, remember, has no fever. And with breast abscess, that's also unilateral, and there's a fluctuant mass on physical exam.